Well, there was um, my grandparents, and um, they farmed at Roxby. They didn't own the farm, they just um, uh, rented it, and they had their family there. They were simple farm workers, yes, the whole family. They did all the, the wheat and the oats and the barley and all that, potatoes, sugar beet. That was when uh, the war started. In those days, um, if you were farming or something important like that where you needed the manpower, you could be kept out, providing you were backed up and, and you know the owners or whatever decided that you were needed back home, but he just wouldn't sign it. And so they got very ups the family were very upset and they had to go to war. They had no option, which upset the whole of the family, particularly the mother. Dear Olive, I thought I'd drop you a line and let you know that I received your most welcome letter and box dated the 5th. We have another draft going out tomorrow night, 500 strong, so you see, they are shifting them out now with a rush. I've nearly forgot what a feather bed's like, and I haven't seen a bit of fire in the grate since I left home. Dear Mother, I received your letter and parcel this morning. Well, about going out, I think it'll be Monday. Some of our luggage goes tomorrow, so that proves we shan't be long. But there's one thing that I want to tell you at home. I shall always write whenever I can. And don't worry about me, as I can take care of myself, I think, as far as the army is concerned. I got the most of it from Grandma, because she lived with us. Um, how upset she used to get, and she couldn't talk about it. And she had that, uh, the big picture of them on, on the wall, and she used to sit and watch it. Dear Mother, received your letter this morning. I've been thinking about what I should have been doing if I'd have been at home Sunday morning. I should have some hotcakes by now. Of course, there's nothing like that out here. But I hope the time is not far away when we shall be having them again. She couldn't accept that, you know, it shouldn't have happened. It just shouldn't have happened. And she was very, very... She never was the same again. You will not have to worry if you don't happen to get a letter from me for a bit, as I don't know when we shall be fixed for getting them away. But... I will write whenever I get the chance. Dear Mother, at last I have time to write a few lines. Sorry I couldn't write before. I expect you'll be wondering what has happened, but I'm pleased to say that I'm alright, and well. Dear Olive, having a bit of time tonight, I thought I'd just write you a few lines and let you know that I received the parcel this morning. Thanks very much for the cigarettes you fetched me up from Scunthorpe and sent me in the box. Because they were brothers, they did try to see each other, and I know that uh, what was said, that they used to pass each other each day as they went out to the front and back again, and they would stop and have a word or something and whatever. I wrote a letter to Mother yesterday, so you'll have had it, and got to know that I met Sidney the other night. He looks well. With love from your loving brother, Arthur. Sidney uh, was waiting for him to come. He didn't come. And uh, that was... Uh, hit him hard. And there are letters about him writing home about it all. Dear Father, you will no doubt think it a surprise me writing to you. I received Mother's letter today, and after reading it thought I must let you know a bit of the truth as regards Arthur. I'm afraid we shall never hear from him again. Mind you, I have had no official news, but I have been amongst the staffs, and I'm afraid he has gone under. Poor old boy. She wore black from the very day of the funeral, and she wore black dresses right through until the day she died. Dear Mother, just a line to say I am quite well. I have not been able to write much these last few days, but I shall be able to do so more now as we have come out of the line. Will you ask Sam or somebody to buy me a decent razor and let me have it at once, as I have lost nearly all my kit? And then uh, within a short time he went the same way. Very sad. Dear Mother, I am quite alright and nothing to worry about, and please don't look on the black side of things. Arthur is gone, poor lad, and no doubt he is better off. But I pray to God that I shall come out all right to cheer you all up. I really think that I shall be home soon to have a look at you, as I think this the last do of the war. We'll close now. With best love to all, your loving son, Sydney. Sydney.